Well, when it comes to family planning, women have many birth control choices. We're talking pills, patches, even female condoms, which means women also bear most of the burden in preventing pregnancy. But that could soon change. Scientists claim to have developed a contraceptive similar to the female birth control pill, but for men. Currently, men have only three effective options for birth control, male condoms or vasectomy, and both have disadvantages or abstinence. Condoms are single use and prone to failure. And a surgical vasectomy is a permanent form of male sterilization. Although sometimes reversible, it's expensive and not always successful. In comes YCT529. The scientific name for a non-hormonal contraceptive for men developed at the University of Minnesota. It prevents pregnancy in mice with no noticeable side effects. Here's how it works. The mice are dosed with the chemical treatment for four weeks. During that time, research shows the mice experience a sharp drop in sperm count and become sterile, and the results are substantial. We conducted a mating study. Um, Male mice were given uh, the drug uh, every day and they were together with um, female mice. After we gave this uh, drug for uh, several uh, weeks, um, the pregnancies went down. Uh, and the efficacy was about 99 percent. Similar to efficacy in female birth control, and that's not all. The effects of the drug were reversed after treatments on the mice were stopped. So after about two weeks, they started to become fertile again, but after four weeks, these mice become completely fertile. Researchers say the mice were able to father pups four to six weeks after they stopped receiving the compound. Human clinical trials could start at the end of the year, but testing an FDA application could mean it could take five years before it hits your pharmacy. And for many, it could be worth the wait. For males, it's so limited. And so if we can expand, uh, the choices for men and for couples, I think that would be really wonderful. Well, the findings were presented at a meeting of the American Chemical Society. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.